Boys, it is around the time that we go and review a trailer that dropped at Gamescom, okay? And there's a little bit of info in this trailer that tells us about the fake collab, okay? Tells us about the fake collab. This trailer that has been dropped, Gamescom Exhibition, the uh, Tales of the Lofu new chapter, goes through a little bit of face Xiao and a little bit of face Xiao hype, okay? Um, And from here, we're only going to get more and more like drip marketing and teasers until the actual fate event because that's coming out in quarter three of next year it's like nearly a, it's still around a year away right but it's still drop little tidbits here and there about information and there's also stuff in this trailer i've seen no one mention that i know about so i must bestow it upon to thee to give you some more insight that's what i'm probably gonna be looking at okay so if this video does help you in any way shape and form please consider liking subscribing and commenting if i'm insane or commenting if I'm cooking, okay? Both help, you know? I like to see what people think. Fake Club is so random for you? Yeah, but Fake Lab is all we want, right? It's a net positive for the boys. But without further ado, let's watch the trailer. One so I'm gonna start from the start, and I want you to listen. I want you to listen in and listen good, okay? And who came had tan skin and wielded two swords. Tan skin, two swords. I don't want to be that guy, okay? I don't want to be that guy, but... If I was to show you a certain character from Fate, you know, I there is a guy I know that is tan skin and does wield two swords. You know, it's 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 kind of like a thing, right? So, at least it's in the universe now. One black and one white. Wow, so the almost equal to General Feishao. General okay, let's be Archer clears Feishao. <laughs> well. He do? I know all her deeds on the battlefield by heart, such as when General Fei Xiao fought her way in and out of enemy rank seven times. With a single strike, she knocked down a hundred enemies. Also, by the way, like the uh, Mirrored Celestia kind of comic book segment here, I think it looks so nice aesthetically. A thousand. Ten thousand. Ten thousand. Yes, sir. You're exaggerating. Nothing about this. Did you hear that? Right? A lot of people haven't spoken about this one. A lot of people have skipped this bit. Or like, I haven't seen it on Twitter, maybe I'm blind, who knows. But listen, listen, okay? Hear me out. I'm not going insane. This bit actually has a little bit of substance to it. I'll turn up a little bit more. Uh, you're exaggerating. Can raise entire cities leaving nothing but rubble. Now look. If you have watched Fate, you probably know who that's referencing. Um, if you haven't watched Fate, then I'll show you kind of what that is. Okay? I will show you. You look since my man. Thank you for following me, dude. Welcome in. Fate is peak. Someone who agrees. Thank you, my man. Welcome in, my dude. Thank you so much for following my dude. But, raising entire cities, leaving nothing but rubble. You know, to avoid spoilers and all that kind of stuff of what's going on, have a look at this. Okay, this is the Excalibur, dude. It goes crazy. Oh yeah. It's got... It's got power to it, okay? And it's really dimmed because I don't know why anime does this when there's bright lights on the screen. Uh, blame Polygon from Pokemon in, two, in like 1998. I'm sure that did it. Um, but yeah, that's what that is referencing. So look, maybe I am being insane here, but I do believe this is directly kind of acknowledging that main character-wise, playable character, event character, banner-wise, it was pretty obvious, but now it's confirmed. It's probably going to be Saber and Archer minimum. We're not going to get, like, you know, we're not going to get uh, outfits or costumes. I believe it's actually going to be purple characters, which is massively, <laughs> massively increasing the hype for this whole entire event. We'll just get another alley. If we get another alley, I'm going I'm to lose my mind, bro. I'll be so upset. This is what my online friends found at the scene. Look. But In the form of a beast, back to the Honkaiverse. Like General Feishel shouted Feishel among the ruins. Feishel looks strong as shit. Bye. Are you my master? <laughs> That's complete nonsense. Are you my master? Are you my master? Dude, I, I, I just love it. I love it. I love it. I Not love it. I have even more impressive stories. Here she Little is. Girl, do you know how to get to the seat of divine foresight? Whew. And, and there's this little tidbit at the end, guys. 
If I haven't, if I haven't sold it enough for you already, you guys haven't seen this. I don't know what rock you're living under, but this is gonna go crazy. <laughs> Oh yeah, Dada. Kore wa mata tondemonai master ni hiki aterareta mono. Dude, I can't deal with this. I can't deal with the teasing. It's making my heart, like, just die. Oh, that's all. Yeah, dude. Straight up, we have the original voice actor for Archer, right? For Archer. The actual goat from the JP, right? The I am the burn of my sword, okay? We have the actual original voice actor debuting their lines in the game. So, like, dude, day by day, this is going to get more and more and more hype. Dude, that is so sick. That is so sick, right? Please come out now. I feel you, man. Like, well, here's the thing, right? I am starting to think... So I, I had a pipe dream that probably going to get, like, a full world and a full patch. I think more and more it's going to be a reality. What we're seeing now is we heard about this, like, a month and a half ago, maybe a little bit less, and they're already giving us more teasers. We have Tokyo Game Show next week. Sorry, not next week, next month, right? Tokyo Game Show is next month, and we're probably going to get more information and even more teasers. They're going to hype this up bit by bit by bit by bit until it actually comes out. And dude, if we get like a Honkai Star Rail Grail War or some shit like that as a patch, I'm going to lose my damn mind, and a lot of us are going to go broke. <laughs> okay, it's, um, it's, it's looking so good, by the way. It, and like the little red, like this is Archer's like color palette and that kind of, his kind of thing when he's fighting at fast pace, like those red, like fucking trail lines and all that kind of shit. Saber, imagine Archer wins. Dude, I haven't even thought about it, but like Archer would have to be destruction. I cannot see him in another role that makes sense other than like, I don't know, maybe, maybe you pull some strings and do like a hunt kind of setup, but I don't know, hunt, like destruction makes sense. I could see Saber as a hunt, and like maybe Excalibur is like a follow-up. I mean, Excalibur would be the ult, right? Maybe maybe Saber's follow-up would be like I don't know, like her inf like her parry. I don't know. It'd be it'd be very interesting to see. But we have next no info. But from what this trailer tells me, with the little tidbits in between, these are gonna be playable characters, baby, and I feel good. He could arguably erudition too. I mean, yeah, he is a sword wielder as well as a arrow user, right? So you could do a lot with that. I, dude, their kits will be the best kits in the game aesthetically. Seeing I in the burn of my sword every time I rip an ult on the guy, I won't be able to play anyone else. That's just not how it's going to work, okay? If ult has to be AoE, may follow up attack, multiple slashes like when he fought Archer in UBW, yeah. And it also, like, now that we know Archer and most likely Saber with what they were saying, like, in this little bit here, right? Um... In this little bit here, when I'm talking about like raising levels, leveling whole cities with like one slash, it's it's pretty much going to be guaranteed them to. And if we're talking four stars, because they have to be five stars, four stars you could do so much with. Maybe you do Shiro regularly and Rin regularly, but I feel like Rin deserves to be a five star. And Gilgamesh is being completely snobbed at this point. Again, very early days. I hope Gil Gilgamesh comes in the game because I, I, I used to hate Gilgamesh. Then I watched Babylon, and I'll fuck with Gilgamesh. UBW Gilgamesh still a bitch, but Gilgamesh, principally speaking, is kind of a cool guy. So you know, if it is a HSR Grail War, imagine if some of the already playable characters end up being the servants in it. Well, like that's the thing. If it's only servants, then that changes the ball game again, right? That changes it again because then, like, it's gonna be it's they're gonna be just summoned heroes, I guess, and maybe the main character is gonna be you know a master. And then they're going to have a grow war between themselves, I would assume. But dude, there's no way you make a fake collab and you leave Rin out. People know Rin out, like, I don't know, maybe this is my delusion, but Rin's like the poster girl for fate if Saber isn't in the picture, right? Saber's first and foremost because she's so popular and easy to recognize, but Rin's got to be a second. Rin has to be a second. The actual club and HSR start using the fake gotcha system? Okay, no, actually straight up I would end, I would change the course of everyone's life forever. <laughs> With what I would do on fucking face cam right now, like, let's not let's not get let's not go crazy, okay? It's like second most iconic in fate after Saber, maybe Gilgamesh though. Yeah, but dude, I I just feel like I there would be a way to put Shiro and Rin in. Maybe Earth exists. You ever think about that? What? If, what okay, hold on. Here's the line, guys. Here's the line. What if this is Earth and it's is it America? Hold on, hold on. Enhance. 
Enhance. Is that... Are they... Wait, hold on. We might... Maybe this is Earth? It's just blown the fuck up. Hold on a minute. So you're saying we could see Rin and Shiro and... Hmm. Because, like, in Grand Order, the world's kind of blown up and in, like, complete shit show. But, like, this isn't the Grand Order collab. This is the Unlimited Blame Works collab. During the collab of the new world is the Holy... During the Holy Grail. Well, dude, it, they are opening up so many, like, options here. And I am so excited. I cannot express to you how excited I really am for this. Um, because... I mean, I probably can. You guys see me make a thousand videos on this until it comes out. Because, man, there's just so much hype to it, dude. Like, they, they're gonna, they're gonna go crazy with this shit, man. I cannot wait. And just the little, one more time for the fans. The, the original voice actor. One more time. Dude. We are so back. We are so back. But YouTube, you know. It was all fun and games. We enjoyed ourselves. We had fun, but it is time to go. If I did help your excitement, or if I did help you in any way, shape, or form, I do recommend liking and subscribing. If you do like the idea of the line that we're going with, the world's blown up, or you think I'm cooking a burn in the kitchen, let me know in the comments below. I really do appreciate it. Um, but hey, that's been about it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.